So this story is interesting for a variety of reasons. This is in Bloomberg News. Andrew Yang supporters may go to Sanders in Iowa caucus. Now, um, you know, I'm sure most of you probably know how a caucus works, but it's not the same as a primary and you kind of do need these alliances moving forward. And um, Andrew Yang casually brought up in an interview like, yeah, I could see many of my supporters going to Bernie. Now, him saying that is not just him describing what he thinks is a matter of fact. I think him saying that is also a wink and a nod. And uh, it's to let his supporters know, like, hey, go to Bernie. (laughs) So, um, you know, you saw a very positive reaction um, on Twitter about Andrew Yang saying this from the Bernie side. Uh, And they're like, hey, man, good looking out. (laughs) So um, this is also my way of saying good looking out. Now, if Andrew Yang, if Andrew Yang supporters are like upset about this or something, there's no reason to be upset about this. This is just the nature of the way primaries work. So uh, it is what it is. Might as well deal with it as it exists. And um, for him to do this is uh, that's a step in the right direction for sure. Now we can fully expect Biden tried to reach out to Klobuchar behind the scenes, and Klobuchar apparently seemed uninterested in making an alliance with Biden, but. Um, you know, I think that they are, there's a natural alliance between Mayor Pete and Amy Klobuchar and and Joe Biden. And uh, there's also, you know, uh, an alliance, a kind of a natural alliance between Bernie and Yang and Tulsi. And then Elizabeth Warren is <laughs> only God knows what her and her supporters are doing these days. Um, but, you know, this is something I just touched on in a different segment. Um I think we are at the point now where most of the candidates realize what's happening, and I think most of them, in a moment of honesty, will tell you that it's either going to be Ber- Bernie or Biden at the end of the day. The polls show that it's a just a race between those two at this point. So now I think some candidates are starting to think big picture. Now you do have careerist candidates uh, who are looking for concessions for themselves. Like I think you know Mayor Pete might drop out and endorse Biden. If Biden offers him a position in the administration that's high up, I could definitely see that happening. But with Andrew Yang, I think he's genuinely ideological. And I mean that as a compliment. I mean ideological as in non-careerist, but I believe in something. <laughs> so that's why, you know, I- I'm calling on the the Bernie team to meet with Andrew Yang. And I hope that Andrew Yang can make his pitch to Bernie for a universal basic income. And if Bernie Sanders endorses a universal basic income, I think there's a decent chance that Andrew Yang would drop out and endorse Bernie. Um, so I think that that's something that should happen. And Because I support universal basic income. Um, and in the case of Tulsi, that's another uh, fascinating situation because she has said previously, oh, I'm going to stay in the entire race. I'm going to go all the way to the convention. Okay. Um, but she also she also just showed up to the Bernie headquarters the other day to talk to some of the people there. I think that's another Tulsi sign of like in a caucus when we're talking about alliances, here's who I'm with. So um, that's another, I think, wink and a nod to the supporters. So it's really interesting seeing the dividing lines and uh, seeing how this is all shaping up. But as I stated previously, even though it's between Bernie or Biden at this point in time, Man, we're in da- in dangerous waters, if you ask me, because all it takes is one dropout and endorsement to really change the nature of this race. So if Klobuchar drops out, endorses Biden, oh boy, that's bad for Bernie. If if Mayor Pete drops out and endorses Biden, that's really bad for Bernie. Because in order for Bernie to win, he, I think he needs to win at least three of the first four states to be in a good position. Uh, because Biden has a big Super Tuesday lead in many states. So... you can't have anything throw a wrench in that. You just can't. And Biden or or Mayor Pete endorsing Biden, Biden or Klobuchar endorsing Biden would mean Biden would open up a giant lead there in, in Iowa. Now he's a little bit back in the pack, but if that were to happen, he'd probably get a pretty big lead. So we need to be cognizant of all these things. And, you know, that's why you need... You need alliances. You need common sense alliances. That doesn't mean you, you know, you 
concede your values, you don't, and you shouldn't. It's the same reason why the Joe Rogan endorsement of Bernie was perfectly fine. Bernie didn't change his values at all. Joe Rogan went to Bernie Sanders, where Bernie Sanders is. Bernie Sanders didn't go to where Joe Rogan is. So, you know, keep that alliance with Andrew Yang and Tulsi Gabbard. And this is another reason why people need to chill out online if people are sniping at each other, uh, at, you know, the supporters. Like, there's nothing I hated more than... Um, the brow beating in the last election about you should support my candidate because I say so. Yeah, great voter outreach program. That's going to work. <laughs> it just is so stupid and so counterproductive. So that's why you've never heard me on this show ever lecture Tulsi supporters, lecture Yang supporters, even lecture Warren supporters. Here's what I, you have to do what I say and endorse Bernie and shut up and fucking get serious. Yeah, I never did that because it doesn't work. And also, it's counterproductive. Everybody knows who I support, and I make the case for my candidate on a daily basis. And if somebody happens to organically come to our side, wonderful. If they don't, hey man, that's fine too. But, when push comes to shove, if you treat people like people, then when the time comes where we need alliances, guess what's going to happen? We're going to have alliances. <laughs> it's not going to be, hey, weren't you the person who was browbeating me the other day? Like, that ain't going to work. So, you know, you should treat people with kindness and respect, and you should give credit where credit is due. And I've given endless credit on this show to Andrew Yang and Tulsi Gabbard. Now, there are times where I've criticized them, but that's par for the course. Um, you know, just like their, their candidates have criticized Bernie from time to time. It's a primary. It happens from time to time. But if you give credit where credit is due, and you're not scorched earth every three seconds, then when the time comes for alliances, we can have alliances. And it looks like this is exactly what Andrew Yang is kind of signaling at this point in time, which is a wonderful thing. So, um, just wanted to point this out for everybody. We're, the day is quickly approaching, man. We're getting close to the Iowa caucus. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm nervous. So, we need all the friends we could get, and this is a good start to that. <laughs>